Hello everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. Today we are on the north coast of Cornwall and we are going to explore Tintagel Castle. This is where apparently King Arthur was conceived and born. We are right now on the mainland and we are going to go across that bridge to the island where the remains of the castle still stand. Okay, yeah that's fine. Left hand path, halfway down, you'll see a sign that says Castle and Bridge. Walk up to the top, yeah that's the entrance to the castle. I'll show your membership cards there and you'll get to there. Thank All right. you. To reach the castle from town you have to walk a little bit of a way. Down quite a steep slope actually. It's probably a, less than a five minute walk but uh, it can be a little bit challenging for people who are maybe a little bit older so there is a service it's a Land Rover service you pay I think it's a couple of pounds and you can get a lift up and down the hill so that is something that's very cool but we enjoy walking so we're gonna walk today the weather at the moment is beautiful we actually forecasted some rain soon so we're hoping to get around most of the castle in the next couple of hours which should be just enough time We used to have to walk down and back up over here but now we have this epic bridge that connects the island and that is what we've come here for today because as epic as this place is I think it's going to be even better now we get to experience this very cool bridge. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have a map because we have our English Heritage membership. Tintagel Castle is the English Heritage site. Uh, we got a joint membership uh, the other week. We went to Pendennis. Falmouth. We went to Pendennis Castle. So that means we get access for free. So the lady at the ticket office says make sure you're up here first so we don't get to miss it when you're going around the whole site so we'll take her advice, we'll go up. Epic, and we can see the new bridge as well, which just looks so cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm really cool. keen to go and have a little walk along there. Time to cross the epic bridge. This is very cool. What a view! There's some work going on at the moment, so there's people swinging from it, which looks very scary. It's like stone floor, isn't it? The floor is very cool. Yeah, they've made the floor out of this. Like, slate? like slates, yeah, yeah. But you can really feel how you're going over now. So this bridge connects us to the island where the main castle was, and what an epic place that would have been in the Middle Ages. This huge castle on this island in the rugged Cornish coast with battered by storms is definitely the place where myths and legends are born. On the island now, we've crossed over to the bridge, we're now in the Great Hall and we're going to carry on through that door over there which is still really impressively intact, it looks very epic and we're going to continue around the island and then I think we head up and somewhere there is this really cool, I think it's bronze statue of King Arthur that we have to find because this looks epic. today but as you can see not many walls left around here <laughs> It's 
So as we're walking around, you can see the dramatic coastline and how this would have inspired the story of King Arthur and his conception here. You can also see the footprints of the buildings that once stood here and you can start to get an idea of what life might have been like in this dramatic, stormy north coast of Cornwall. It would have been very cold. Today's actually quite lovely temperature wise. We just got that strong breeze. It's actually very sheltered up here. We're up on the headland now. Magnificent views over further north of Cornwall. And I think that's Camelot Castle over behind us too. Okay, so as usual, the weather has done a complete 180 on us here in Cornwall. <laughs> and we are about to start experiencing a nice little bit of rain uh, is blowing up from the south and hitting the north coast so we are probably going to just sort of continue around and hope that we can still capture some cool content I can see the statue here but we can see the statue I always thought it was King Arthur apparently it's not apparently it's a sculpture called Galos or Galos uh, but either way it's very very epic it's crazy windy we're so exposed up here we've got some bad weather coming in Ooh, a little break in the wind uh, so we're holding on to my hatch we are running to find shelter now because the wind is really, really picking up. But we have found a nice little wind tunnel. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's cool in here. It's not too windy. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's definitely some kind of purposely carved out space. Yeah. We've explored most of the castle grounds now and now we're going to go and head back into town. Then we may walk down to see if we can have a look at Merlin's cave. That was the chapel and the priest used to be paid 50 shillings a year to go there every day and hold his service. Uh, the prince who commissioned it uh, was called the Black Prince and he actually never visited. So after 50 years I think he gave up and uh, left this island. Sick of being lonely. That's a bonus. It's very challenging. Um, people working on the bridge and they are going to be swinging soon, aren't they? Yeah. more shelter. I thought it was going to be crazy here. But we have an epic view now looking up at the bridge. And you can see there's some rope hanging off. People have been working on there. Probably, pretty scary. Probably got told to stop now. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Health and safety probably told them to stop. Yeah, 
that are not connected anymore. I mean, that's why they've been really bad in the storm and some stairs that's just disconnected to the whole structure. But usually you can walk onto this beach and go into Merlin's cave. Merlin is like a legendary wizard of this area. So it's a very cool, mystical, magical place. Yeah, so much folklore here. And I think you can walk through the cave and it might come out yeah, during low tide to this little beach behind us. I can see the rain. It's heavy and it's coming fast. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Nice yeah. Yes, from here we can see down onto the beach and there is Merlin's Cave uh, which we have been through before many years ago when we were visiting uh, with some friends. We have an old, old, old vlog on our YouTube channel. Might take a while to scroll back up and see that one but there it is. Oh, okay. Here comes the rain shares. Quick. There is a cafe down here, uh, which we are going to go and try and shelter in. And maybe have a look at the exhibition too. We have free tastings here in the um, shop and I'm trying the ginger wine. It smells very gingery, it's like a ginger beer nearly. Yeah, it's yummy. We've got a little break now in the weather, so we're gonna walk back up to the village, but we have just visited the free exhibition that's opposite the cafe. In there, it tells you about the history of the area. It was just a settlement for local people. And then the younger brother of an English king actually came here and built a castle because they liked the link that they have with King Arthur here. It's very legendary. It allows them to have dominance over the local people when they have this magnificent castle in this very mystical and legendary area and it actually later became a trading port between here and Europe so they brought olive oil and wine and became quite a very popular trading route here and people got very wealthy however at one point for over 500 years this place was fell into disarray it wasn't used eventually it is what it is now they managed to repair some of the areas and preserve a lot of it too so we get to enjoy it still because it is just so fantastic here Yes, the weather is definitely something to be considered here in Cornwall because right now we have had a glorious morning of sunshine. We now have four to five hours of cloud and rain and then the sun is going to come out again and give us a beautiful sunset. So something to be considered if you're visiting this area. The weather just changes so much being on this peninsula. Oh, that was a very steep walk. We made it back up. And we're going to have a little walk through the village. There is a very, very old post office. I want to have a quick little look at it before we head back to the car. We just took a little bit of refuge in a tiny little cafe called Charlie's and it was in a very old corner house. Very cool inside, everything's wonky, everything is made to fit. Um, but yeah, let's carry on having a look around Tintagel. Tintagel. 